Tampa's Bay Area Night Beat on KBCW. Tranquilized and trapped tonight, this mountain lion is finally captured after roaming around a residential Bay Area neighborhood for hours. Hello and welcome, I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. The big cat forced the big guns to come out and put the community on alert. That plus the day's top stories in your two-minute mix. Officers armed with rifles on the hunt in San Mateo, going door to door by El Camino Real and 9th Avenue this afternoon, telling people to stay inside. There have been three mountain lion sightings in this area in just 14 hours. Don't know if it's the same big cat. Drug smuggling scheme at Oakland International Airport. They could compromise the safety of an airline. The U.S. attorney says three baggage handlers snuck pot through screening and gave it to fellow ring members of their flights. They do as they would text the person that they were going to hand it off to. They'd meet in the bathroom and exchange it. Nine suspects arrested so far. Have you seen this vehicle? Tonight, cops and Campbell say the driver grabbed a girl walking her dog. The girl got a good look at the suspect and that helped police put together a sketch. They say the suspect bear hugged the girl from behind by Mason Court and Harriet Avenue. She escaped. Pilot missing for 10 days. We've been looking for any sign of evidence. No trace of William McAdams since he took off from Palo Alto Airport May 8th. We haven't discovered a crash site. We don't know if the plane landed somewhere. Now, McAdams worked as a flight instructor in California and previously in Florida. Bikers busted. They are all being charged with engaging in organized crime. 170 suspects under arrest after yesterday's shootout between rival motorcycle gangs in Waco, Texas. It was really, really scary. It's still not clear whether it was other bikers or officers who killed the nine who died. The supply of military weapons cut off to local law enforcement. So we're going to prohibit some equipment made for the battlefield. This comes nine months after officers using military-style equipment confronted protesters in Ferguson, Missouri.